Hi students, you might have done my violin bowing warm-up that helps you to bow smoothly with a beautiful sound, but maybe you are looking for an extra challenge for more advanced violin bow exercises. So here are six exercises that are really challenging. So if the bridge exercise feels light to you, then do it with whipping. Make sure you don't hit anything. Uh, and also make sure that you are still doing it with the finger action. And that's really hard. I even have difficulty with it because the harder I whip, the stiffer my bow will go. So search for your uh, limits there. Then the other challenge is to make the bridge exercise heavier by turning around your bow and doing it at the tip. This is really hard. Not only in terms of strength, but definitely in terms of balance. Oof, you really feel the pinky. Then another challenging exercise is to bow above the string with the whole bow. So you're faking it, so to say. <laughs> Don't use this in the wrong way <laughs> if you haven't studied your orchestra scores. But just bow like you would bow, but a couple of centimeters above the string. And bow straight and bow with the whole bow. Now this is also hard work for your bow hand and make sure that you're still doing the correct movement, otherwise it's too heavy. Then we have the T-bow exercise and that's the French name T-bow, not T-bone. <laughs> First start with a little down bow at the frog and a little up bow at the tip. And the faster you do this, the more challenging it gets. Now, another way to do this, and that might confuse you a little, which is always good in practicing violin, is to do an up bow at the frog and the down bow at the tip. Ugh, now you're making an eight. That's the real T bow exercise, by the way. So you're making this eight in the air. Great for bow control. The other challenging exercise is the quarter bow exercise. You bow a quarter of the bow, great for bow division by the way, lift a finger, quarter of the bow, lift a finger, quarter of the bow, lift a finger, then quarter of the bow, put the finger back, quarter of the bow, put the finger back, and then for the last bit, put your pinky back. And then try to do that fluently. Another challenging exercise is to do these circles that we practiced in the air. If you're up for an extra challenge, if you're doing them at the frog already, then make little bow strokes, call a bowing. Make circles and down bows after each other. It's more challenging than down up. And then the same with up bows. Do them at extreme frog. Great for bow hands fluency. Well, have fun playing with these. Now, if you're thinking, it's not that it went way too far, I want to work on the basics first, then just watch this beautiful video with my violin bowing warm up. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.